Hey everybody, welcome to the Sim Hangar. My name's Mark. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm on a little bit of a tricky approach to Lima Sierra Mike Mike in picturesque Switzerland. As you can see, I'm in the Next Level Racing's Boeing cockpit. It's my sim pit, and I've been flying in it for about five weeks or so and absolutely loving it. Now, the one thing when you buy something like the Next Level Racing Boeing cockpit is you get what you get. You're getting the complete thing. And Next Level Racing have just added to their range of flight cockpits. And what's different about this one is that it's modular. That you can just buy what you want. Oh, three-point landing. I'll take that. Flaps up. The new product from Next Level Racing is not only modular and therefore you can buy what you want when you want more or less, but it's also more configurable, more adaptable, more adjustable. So in this video, it's a preview of the product. It's just been released and uh, I have a set on its way to me. And of course, I'll be doing a full and detailed review in the future. But for now, here's a preview of what we can expect. There are essentially three different modular options. And the first one we'll look at is the Flight Stand Pro, or the cockpit end. And it's designed to be configurable and adaptable to many different types of peripherals. It has a sidearm plates, as we've come to expect. But noticeably now, it will accommodate both GA and commercial configurations, as it includes a substantial top plate. Ideal for that, yoke or throttle quadrant. Another significant change is it's now on casters, and they're lockable casters, so it's much easier to move the unit. Also notice a small tray on the chair side. If you're using it with your chair and that has casters, well you can place them in the tray, if on a smooth surface so you don't roll back. If you're familiar with Next Level Racing's products, you'll be aware they're made out of a heavy grade metal, with no compromise on durability and stability. The Flight Stand Pro features a center HOTAS mounting pole with height and angle adjustment. It's a relatively wide frame design and rudder pedal plate with angle height and lateral adjustment. The flight plate arms swivel and adjust laterally and horizontally, and it's fully compatible with Next Level Racing's other new product, the Flight Seat Pro. And as you can see, it includes both keyboard and mouse trays. All this information and more is available via their website, link in the notes below. Product specifications are shown here. One point of note is that the boxed weight is 43 kg, so it's probably a two-man lift or unpack in the doorway. The price in the UK will be £499, and I imagine the price in US dollars will be very much the same. It's a considered purchase at this price, aimed at the enthusiast. The second option is the Flight Seat Pro. Once again, it features lockable caster wheels, so moving it from one place to another is going to be a whole lot easier. But it's not just a seat, it comes with a center HOTAS mounting pole with height and angle adjustment, and it's compatible with a wide variety of different peripherals, including Thrustmaster, Verpal, Wind Wing, and so on. As you can see, it also comes with its own set of mounting plates as a standalone unit ideally suited for more of a military HOTAS type setup. But if you've got your desk already set up and just looking for a chair with a few extra options, well, this could be the answer. The seat also includes a safety footstep, lumbar cushion and seat harness. 
for those wanting that extra level of immersion. It is obviously fully compatible with the ProFlight stand and the two units can be fastened together to form a single unit and they can also be purchased as a single unit from Next Level Racing. The Flight Seat Pro is also fully compatible with Next Level Racing's motion platform options. Once again, it's predominantly metal construction, so it's a fairly heavy beast, with a box weighing in at about 50 kg. And according to the specs on their website, will support weights of up to 150 kg or 330 pounds, and suitable for people as tall as 6 foot 9 inches. I have very little to worry about in that regard. The pricing comes in at £599 and I imagine the US dollar price will be the same and as mentioned before clearly aimed at the enthusiast level. But something of this nature would be a one-time purchase. And as indicated there's also a third option that is to buy the seat only. It doesn't come with any base but if you had a base then you could fasten it to that. If you already had a rig or a motion platform and were looking to upgrade the seat. And those are the three options available. Flight Pro Stand, the Flight Pro Seat, or just the seat by itself. By combining both the Pro Seat and Stand, you're probably going to get the widest range of options in terms of configuration possibilities. But of course that's going to set you back at something just over US dollars or pounds. But on the plus side, well, it can significantly enhance the immersion allow you to tailor make your own setup with as much versatility as you want in terms of peripherals. And potentially, depending on the space and the type of flight simming you do, it might be a space saver as well. This is just a quick look at my current setup, which I use for both 2D monitor and VR flying. When flying on the monitor, of course, I use the Toby Eye Tracker 5. Well, that's a new product from Next Level Racing. I hope you found it useful and informative. I will, as I said earlier, be doing a full review in a couple of weeks' time. One, I'm going to be taking a YouTube break for a couple of weeks, so I won't be hounding you with any more videos for a while. And also, um, once I get the product, I like to use it for between 5 and 10 days before doing a review, so I have time to get everything tweaked and I can give you a real honest impression. Looking forward to trying it out. So I'll see you then. Take care and bye for now.